Hello, my name is Armando Vieira and I make a short presentation about big data and the transformations in business that is occurring in the recent years. Big data is a, a term that englobes a series of uh, experts. And I will call it magic. And where does this magic come from? It comes from basically three elements. First, the fact that you have better algorithms to process the data. Second, the fact that you have powerful computers at, at a very low price to process this data. Today, everyone can assess the cloud computing at uh, almost for free. And third, the fact that you have more data available. You have a very large amount of data that can be processed from all aspects of our activity. We give a digital trail that is being uh, fed every day, this um, pile of data. And this piece element combined, it's what it's called big data. And uh, the amount of data, just to give you an example, the amount of data that is being produced, it's amazing. In two years, we produce about 10 to the 21, or it is a zettabyte of data. And just to give you an idea, these two years of data is equal to the total amount of data that has been produced since humanity has come to planet Earth. So it's very large. Just to give you an idea how large it is, if you print this data into books, you will be able to pile all the books up to the moon and return 50 times. This is how much it is. Not only the data is there at large amounts, but also it's very cheap, almost for free. It doesn't mean data doesn't have value, but the price to acquire it and to have it is very low. For instance, decoding the, a, a million base pairs of DNA in 2001 it cost about $10,000. Today, it's less than 10 cents. So it was a decrease about, um, by about 1 million times cheaper in about 10 years. This never had happened in history before. The, the change, the amount of change in the price reduction is so big in such a short period of time never occurred before. So this is completely new. Does size matter? I mean, you just have more data. What do you do with more data? Nothing, nothing fundamental in you have come just by adding new data. It's wrong. People that think like that are wrong. Size matters a lot. In an experiment done as some years ago, using machine learning algorithms to automatic text translation, it was been shown that by giving more documents to the algorithms to help them learn what are the different uh, associations between words. It helped a lot the efficiency in translation between these two languages. Not only it helped to boost the accuracy, but also something interesting occurs. The simple algorithms have performed better than the more complex algorithms. So just by using more data, we can have better predictions without taking too much care about the algorithms. Just, just, just fed more data to the system and somehow we will extract features and information from it. So we are flooding in the sea of data and uh, sometimes it is not easy to separate the signal from the noise. This is another problem that we have. So it's true that you are producing a lot of data, but much of the data is noise. How you separate noise from the signal? The answer is not obvious. Sometimes it's uh, take, is, is, uh, giving back to the algorithms this task. And if you guide, in the some sense, the algorithms to learn where, are, where is the signal, it will do the task for us automatically. We don't have to carry that. So where does human stand in this equation? I mean, are we just uh, feeding the beast, let's call it, with data? In some sense, yes. So it's just kind of a sensors out there to feed data to the, to the machine, like uh, check-ins you do in Facebook, 
or on Foursquare, like uh, the cell phone data that we fed to the telecom, or the phone calls, or the recommendations in Netflix for movies, or in Amazon uh, when you buy a book. So each action we take in our daily lives, let's call it digital lives, is becoming uh, one more piece in this large pile of data. Okay, so we somehow enter these mechanisms as feeders of this uh, uh, big system where humans also have a big role to play. But that I will explain in the next presentation.